Well, it's been a couple of days since I was last in this apartment. And to be honest with you, the project has taken a little bit longer than I anticipated, but I did want to show you some of the progress that I have made. Oh yeah, that's something we just got down there. But anyway, I didn't think you'd be interested in watching us actually cut drywall. But as you can see, we did do the cutting up there so that we can run that wire from that breaker panel over to this cabinet right behind me. And you'll see the ceiling. I've got it cut out as well for the wiring. But for the meantime, We've been going ahead and taking care of some of the other projects that we had in this unit. One of them being quartz countertops here by the range. So then the picture that I'm gonna put on the screen will show you the old tall little bar area that was up there that was really useless but uh, that's just one thing we doing here got the sink put in it's an undermount sink got a nice little faucet in here it's all ready to go we're gonna come in here with a brand new garbage disposal went ahead and pulled that old hood wire that was in there now what I've got to do is kind of trim this back a little bit because I need to put a plate over those wires. You can't just cover these up without having a plate on top of that. Uh, we're not going to be using these wires. Like I said, we're coming in to this cabinet right here with a box and I'm going to put an outlet right there. As soon as we get that wire run, that's the next project that we're going to be doing. And that's the next thing I'm going to be showing you is my progress on running the wire from this breaker panel, like I said, through that two by four, and then you see how the wires go up into the ceiling right there. Well, I'm actually gonna be tracing that wire all the way over. Just like you can see the wire right there, which is for the range. And it's also got wires up there for those outlets in the wall and for switches and stuff like that, which we're not gonna mess with any of that. It's been a process and it's uh, slow going, but we are making some headway. Got all the doors and everything on the cabinet. So we're ready to put that microwave right into that, that hole right there. Pardon me looking up, but I'm looking at the screen trying to make sure I'm pointing in the right spot. So that could be a little difficult if you're not looking at it. Well, there's a lot of craziness going on right now in the world. And you know, we don't have to participate. I think all we need to do is kind of calm down and take things a little bit slower and appreciate the surroundings that uh, we have around us. You know, it's a beautiful day where I'm at right now. I'm at work and life is still going to go on. So why not go ahead and appreciate the things that we have around us? Be a little bit smart. Be a little bit understanding. Be a little bit uh, patient with people and patient with the situation. Let's educate ourselves so that we don't panic and fear. So, like I said, things are going on. We're, we're still chugging along. We're doing some little projects here around the property. You know, one of the things we're doing, see that light back here in the, behind me? That's an old light fixture. So we're actually switching that over to an LED fixture that's going to be three panels of, of LEDs, one in the middle, two on each side that kind of adjust up and down. So yeah, we're, we'll put these light fixtures up. It's outside work. It's a beautiful day. I'm sure you can see the blue skies and the clouds and the wind is blowing nice. We're about 75 degrees right now. So it's a great day to be outside and doing things. So that's what we're doing.
course, one of the other things we can do is if we're doing make ready, is let's make sure that uh, everything is like it's supposed to be, you know? Get in there and take care of some of those little tweaks that you want to, you've always wanted to do it, but you never have had the chance to do it of time. Well, now you have the time. I'm going to install this box in that cabinet. Well, there you go. That box is ready to go in that hole. Now, I didn't put it all the way in because I'm going to have to feed that wire down to it from up there, get down to it, and then I'll set it in the box. And you know, if you've never seen one of these boxes, let's go through and show you what this is. So this is a box you would use if you were going to put another outlet in, say you wanted to install a television on your wall, and to keep from having wires drop drape down under the TV, on the outside of the wall, down to the plug that's underneath it, you'd grab one of these end wall boxes. What happens is, this you would put cut the hole just like you saw me do there. Slide, get your wire, that wherever you're going to run that wire from, either from the outlet on the bottom or from something up top, you bring your wire into the top of this box. And this has got a plastic, like spring loaded. You push that wire in, it's not coming back out. So that kind of locks it in place. So you, safety wise and standards of electrical code, you're going to meet that. So anyway, you'd run your wire in here, bring it out the front. And then you would slip this in the hole. Make sure that these little tabs that you see here folding up are flat down. There's one on the top and there's one on the bottom. So you would slide this into the wall. And then once you get it in the wall, flush with these little, these little tabs, you got a Phillips head screwdriver right here that you're gonna start tightening up. And that brings this tab up and as you tighten that screw, this is pulling in. And as it's pulling in, it's pulling into the back of the sheetrock, and that's what locks it in place. So, like a, if you figure my finger is the drywall and you're tightening that screw over there, this is gonna tighten up 
against the back side of that drywall and that locks that box in place. It's not going to be able to come out because you're down here with the drywall edge that you cut and this is the other side of it. So these boxes are ingenious for doing in wall boxes. You could do it for cable, telephone, electrical outlets, switches. If you were going to wire in a switch, that's what these boxes are for. So that shows you what an in wall box would be. Because, you know, once they wire your house and they put drywall on top of those boxes, <clears throat> you, you can't get to it. Those boxes are nailed in from the side and they go all the way through into the stud that it's sitting next to. So it's supported here and goes all the way through into the stud. Well, once that drywall's up, you can't do any of that kind of work. So you've got to have an in wall box that would slip into the drywall hole that you cut and then use these tabs to lock it in place. We're gonna push a wire in through here once we get it run up into that wall. We'll run it out, give us enough slack, slip this back in the hole, tighten that screw up to where this box is held in place by these tabs and that way we can plug that microwave in inside of that cabinet. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to check this next video out. And if you would, hit that little round icon up there with my cute little face in it. That way you can subscribe to the channel and you'll be sure not to miss a thing. And as always, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you soon.